What's up everybody and welcome to another episode of Drive to Thrive. In today's video, I wanna show you an exciting chart that I've been staring at for the last week here and trying to pick out any kind of similarities between past recessions and what you expect with this upcoming recession. But as always, these trends aren't always right and we gotta take them with a grain of salt. Now also, I'd love to hear from you guys. What do you think this year has in store for us? Are we gonna go higher? Are we gonna go lower? Are we gonna stay flat? You know, are we gonna trade sideways? Are we gonna see that recession? Let me know in those comments below. And also let me know, what do you think about my new setup? Do you prefer this? Or would you like me to go back to my old setup in front of the brick wall? So let me know in those comments below because I'd love to hear from you. Now let's go over to my computer and let's take a look at these charts. All right, so in this video, we'll be looking at the chart of the 10-year treasury minus the two-year treasury rate. And this has been seen as a nice leading indicator for upcoming recession. So anytime we dip below this zero line within 12 to 24 months, we could see a recession. Now, this has been an accurate leading indicator of recessions going back to 1955. But for this video, we'll be focusing more on this area between 1990 and present. So what I did for my next chart is I ended up taking all these gray areas right here and laying them or plotting them in my trading view here to get the same kind of image and then put some lines here to indicate the zero line. The red line is about 0.25% above here and kind of highlighting the floors and the bottoms here. So let's look at what has happened throughout the past here. So as soon as we dipped below this zero line back here in 89 about 12 months later here, we ended up getting a recession here in 1990. Then we've seen a pretty good economy. Now, after that, we've seen that over here, we dipped down again in early 2000s. And then by 2021, we ended up getting an official recession. Again, dipped down here in about 2000 six and by 2007 we were in the recession so if this trend holds up now we can see currently that we are down below this zero line again and we dipped below here around july of 2022 which means that anywhere between july 2023 and july 20 24 we could see a recession somewhere within that period could be anywhere between q3 and q4 of this year or q1 q2 of next year now what i want to show you next guys is i want to overlay the s p 500 on top of this graph to see how the stock market performed during these periods so let's go back to again to this 1989 period and let's see what has happened to the stock market as this yield curve was falling down the stock market actually performed pretty well and while we were below this zero line here the stock market ended up going kind of flat here and as soon as we broke out about this red line which was 0.25 percent from the zero line we ended up seeing some of those biggest declines in the stock market then during the recession the yield curve was steepening and then eventually the stock market even though we were in the recession we were already going up so the stock market is forward looking and even though we are in the recession we could hit the bottom sometimes at the beginning of the recession sometimes in the middle so let's kind of keep following this chart along now as that yield curve was speaking over here the stock market was actually doing pretty well again throughout the early 1990s here just ended up staying about the zero line and stock market has seen some of the best returns here in this period now let's keep on going further here and we can see that in 2000 we ended up getting a, another break below this zero line here so as we stayed below the zero line the stock market actually stayed kind of sideways and again, as the yield curve started steepening and we broke about this 0.25%, this is where we ended up seeing some of those biggest declines. And in this scenario, throughout this entire recessionary period, the stock market actually ended up going lower. And even once the recession was over and the yield curve was almost at its peak right here, then we ended up finding those bottoms sometimes around uh, September of 2022 to about February of 2023. Now, as the yield curve again, was falling down the stock market was performing quite well broke beneath the zero line sometimes around february 26th and then again in october of 2006 and again while we were down here stock market was generally performing pretty well ended up making some higher highs 
And then as the yield curve was deepening and we broke above here, we ended up seeing some of those biggest declines. And throughout this entire recessionary period, the stock market was just falling, ended up bottoming out around here. That would be February of 2009. And then even though those yield curves were already at the peak here, we then started to see the market starting to rally. Now that leads me over to our next time period, the current period today. Now, as we can see, we ended up breaking below the zero line here in July, 2022, but way before then, you know, the markets already started tanking. Now we are at the bottom. I'm not sure if we have hit the ultimate bottom on this yield curve or if there is more pain ahead, but my prediction is I could see the market just kind of, you know, go sideways around here, possibly even create some higher highs and trap some of those buyers you know on the wrong side because again this can be too easy you know the market the wall street is going to try and take out the little man so they're going to throw a bunch of different traps in front of us here and this is what we got to prepare for a bunch of different scenarios so what i'm thinking is maybe q1 q2 possibly q3 we could see the market rally make like i said some some of those higher highs than we were back in november of 2022 trap some of those buyers thinking that we have seen the worst and this was the bottom and then as that yield curve starts to steepen and we start to break in about this a red line here we could see those ultimate lows and possibly get as low as the covid low and possibly as low as the 2018 so somewhere in this area wouldn't be out of the question which means there is possibly let's see from the current point down to here around another 30 percent 32 percent left in this correction so that is kind of what i'm thinking this is what i'm kind of preparing for if this you know chart stays true to kind of what has happened in the past and when we cross this zero line this is the most pain will be seen then but as always i'd love to hear from you guys in those comments below if you find some usefulness you know out of this chart or you learn something new don't forget to smash that like button and possibly subscribe as it does truly help out a small channel like this thank you so much guys thank you for spending the time with me and we'll see you in another video cheers